वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन एज यू कैन सी द टाइटल ऑफ द वीडियो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर यू इम्पॉर्टेंट वाइवा क्वेश्चन वैन यू विल पास द प्रो मेट्रिक एग्जाम दैन नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू पास द वाइवा एग्जाम और इंटरव्यू दैट इज डन बाय एम ओ एच ओमान मिनिस्ट्री सो टुडे आई विल शेयर यू सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट आर रियली आस्क बाय दैम and this uh, viva is done either online or you will go directly to the moh if you are in your own country then you can apply online viva exam but if you are in oman then you will go directly to the moh uh, ministry and then they will ask the questions normally 3 to 4 uh, examiners will be there and uh, the question they will ask and uh, Uh, one will be from hematology one will be from biochemistry and uh, one will be from microbiology and one can ask question related to the quality control and management the important points before i will tell you the questions i already prepare all the questions that i will share one by one um, uh, the most important point is <clears throat> first your answer should be brief means what question they ask just give answer related to the question no need to go more in details second important point is if you don't know the answer just tell you don't know but don't give the wrong, wrong answer because if you will give the wrong answer uh, that will be the problem so now i will share you all the important mcqs that are asked uh, by the moh uh, first question is if fire will be in lab then what you will be do these question they can ask in different ways for example if fire will come in hematology analyzer then what you will do so you have to prepare for this answer i will share you only questions because all answers not possible for me to give and uh, uh, before i will go to the next question one other important point they will check your communication they will check your confidence level uh, because first of all our communication is more important that how we will deal with the patients how we will deal with our staff and so communication they will check so must uh, uh, try to keep your english or your communication should be good because the interview will be asked by in english only so next first question i as i told this that if fire in lab then what you will do next question is for electrical fires means like uh, our all instruments are based on electricity so if electrical fire will come then what type of fire extinguishers you will use next question is <clears throat> if wbc will be high then what is it is called and uh, how you will report or what will be your next step if wbc means white blood cells or leukocytes will be high uh, next question is if you need to transfer blood for ab negative person and you do not have ab negative and you do not have o negative as you know o negative is uh, donor then what will be your next step means patient is ab negative and you do not have ab negative blood and you do not have o negative blood also then what will be your next step next question is about g6pd glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase uh, just go to g6pd means what it stands for what is the purpose of this test and how we will report the g6pd next question is uh, related to insulin what is the function of insulin and insulin produced from where next question is causes of high urea what uh, diseases can cause urea high next question is cholesterol produced from where next question is unit of protein when we will report the protein then what unit in what unit we will report so you just Uh, means get idea that you have to remember units also for biochemistry test then uh, in urine microscopy what what things you will report then in urine which parasite is most chances to come 
द नेम ऑफ पैरासाइट यू फाउंड इन यूर इन वट विल बी द नेम ऑफ दैट पैरासाइट टाइप ऑफ कास्ट एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए एस ओ स्टैंड फॉर नॉर्मल रेंज ऑफ ए एस ओ डायल्यूशन फैक्टर ऑफ ए एस ओ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नॉर्मल रेंज ऑफ पी एच ऑफ यूर इन हाउ वी विल रिपोर्ट देन अदर क्वेश्चन इज टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल वी विल यूज इन बायो केमिस्ट्री एंड हिमाटोलॉजी एनालाइजर हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल वी विल यूज एंड टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल मीन्स इन बायो केमिस्ट्री एज यू नो वी विल यूज नॉर्मल एंड अब नॉर्मल कंट्रोल और नॉर्मल और पैथोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल बट इन बायो बट इन हिमाटोलॉजी वी विल यूज थ्री टाइप ऑफ कंट्रोल नॉर्मल लो एंड हाई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट इज मीन बाय थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया next question is if potassium result will come high what you will do uh, means uh, before reporting what what things you will check uh, or what will be the reason of potassium high then you will report how you will report if potassium is high and how you will confirm that potassium is really high how you will deal with the trouble shootings of machines next question they ask कोगुलेशन टेस्ट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अ पेशेंट सॉरी कोगुलेशन टेस्ट इज वेरी अर्जेंट टू डू एंड यू कीप द सैम्पल इन सेंट्री फ्यूज एंड बट दैट टाइम ट्यूब इज ब्रोकन देन वॉट विल बी योर नेक्स्ट स्टेप नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन जी सिक्स पी डी रिपोर्ट फॉर्मेट पी ए पी टी आई एन आर प्रोथ्रॉम्बिन टाइम आई एन आर कैलकुलेशन फॉर्मूला what test include in lft profile lft you know liver function test then elisa elisa stands for type of elisa uh, principle of elisa uh, which condition protein electrophoresis test process next question is if patient is orh negative blood and need transfusion then which blood group you will uh, provide for transfusion patient is orh negative and patient need blood so which blood you will provide for transfusion and uh, next question is that uh, for hb a1c uh, which tube you will use for uh, sample collection and uh, hb a1c why we need and uh, why we need edta tube to collect that sample there so related to hba1c also you go through then uh, what is quality control how many times you need to run the control and lj what is lj and lj stand for you have to go through westgard rules also and for biochemistry you also get idea about uh, uh, lfts uh, lipid profile rft bone profile you just go through these also uh, how we will diagnose uh, dm patient then uh, ogtt test oral glucose tolerance test you also get idea and electrolyte method of detection and then you just uh, go through a uh, name of stains at least basically that which which stain is used for which test for example gimsa and gram stain what is the difference between gimsa and gram stain what is the purpose of gimsa and gram stain you should get idea and uh, uh cbc parameters in reporting cbc uh, parameters what we will do and then uh, effects of anticoagulants on calcium and uh, related to sample collection for example you sh- you should know the order of blood draw and uh, which tube we will use for which test they can ask that why you cannot use edta tube for calcium or if you use edta tube for calcium how it will affect the result if you will keep tourniquet for the long time on the patient arm which test can affect so in the hematology basic terms like uh, leukocytosis leukopenia thrombocytosis thrombopenia uh, and uh, pancytopenia and uh, 
so these all basic terms anemia iron deficiency anemia so these all basic terms also you uh, must go through uh, just keep in mind that related to histology there will be no question asked for blood banking especially uh, you should know um, that uh, what is the fresh frozen plasma uh, which at which temperature we will store fresh frozen plasma and what are the blood products so uh, related to hematology uh, related to biochemistry uh, microbiology and uh, quality control at least urine analysis stool analysis type of parasite seen in urine in stool type of cast type of crystals these all basic information must must you, you should be prepared so these are the questions that i prepared if uh, any one of you have recently passed the exam viva exam i will request to all of you that please in comments write your the question that is asked by you so that it will be helpful for uh, other people who are going to give exam viva exam for moh so this video is completed here i hope this video will be helpful uh, to all of you to get idea that what type of questions can be asked if uh, anyone know all answers please write the answers in comments so that it will be helpful for uh, other also so this video is completed here thank you so much